Hey guys, welcome to episode number 341. Today is Tuesday, so I have another tank tip for you. And today I wanted to do a quick repair job and show you exactly how to change the handle on a PVC ball valve. Now, when you have a setup like this where you've welded both sides uh, of a ball valve and you have a problem with that ball valve, it's sort of annoying to have to replace the whole ball valve because you're going to have to cut your PVC, you're going to have to weld a new one on, and uh, it's kind of a pain in the neck because you have to shut your whole system down. Um, sometimes unions are used to uh, reduce the chance of something like this happening. Sometimes threaded ball valves are used. But if you're in a situation where you have a, a ball valve in place, it's already welded in place, and you have a problem with your handle, this is a quick way you can fix it. Um, this is the same ball valve, and this handle is actually the one that was on here a minute ago. Uh, I just figured out how to change it. It took a couple minutes to figure out how to do, so I thought I'd show you. Uh, so this is the bad handle, which was on here a minute ago, and you can see right there, that we have a large crack and essentially I was concerned that if I turn that handle the whole handle would crack off, it would be stuck open and I'd, uh, I'd be in a little bit of trouble. So this is the Mueller brand, this is the one you typically find at Home Depot. It's a pretty cheap ball valve and to get into it all you need to do is take a small flathead screwdriver and just wedge it in there until this cap pops off. Now it's important that you keep this cap it's important that it's in one piece because you're going to need it when you're done. So I'm going to set that aside and uh, essentially when you start a project like this you want to turn the system off because you don't want water flowing through it. So this is what you do. You turn your valve, before you take it off, you turn your valve, before you even take this off, you turn your valve so that it's completely open just like that and you can see that um, there's a couple little notches in here and if I just turn this uh, ball valve you can see that the centerpiece isn't moving it's just the handle that's moving uh, because I removed this piece those little notches uh, typically lock that handle in place but with those removed I can turn this like a quarter or an eighth of a turn clockwise and then it pops right off and you can see this is still wide open um, and essentially what you do is you can buy a replacement handle it might be sort of annoying to find them online but if you do you can buy just a replacement handle uh, if it's cracked or something like that um, I had an, a spare ball valve of the same size hanging around it's fairly cheap so I just took a brand new ball valve and uh, took a new handle and put it on here so that's how you take the handle off, right? This is still wide open. Uh, what you want to do is you get your new handle and you place it right back on. You pop it in and then what you do is you very gently turn it. You don't want the white piece to move, but you very gently turn it until the red disappears inside that slot and you can see the white again, the white PVC below it and then what you can do is you can fit those two tabs back in place and you're all set. Then you can turn your ball valve as normal and there you shut. You can turn it again and there you're open. So that's real quick how to change the handle on a PVC ball valve if something like this happens uh, and it cracks. Now interesting thing to note is you get into all of your ball valve handles the same way by popping this cap off but some of the other brands especially the higher quality brands and the larger ball valves when you pop that cap off you're actually going to find a screw there and those are a little bit easier to deal with because you just pull that screw out and then you can put your new uh, handle right on but that's how I've done it that's how I've done this repair again very important that you turn the water off before you start something like that because it's going to be full open for the entire duration uh, of that fix. But it's a very quick fix, very easy thing to do, so don't get discouraged, don't go out and buy brand new ball valves and cut your PVC all the pieces and then have to weld it all back together. It's very simple. You just give it a quarter or an eighth of a turn and it pops right out. And if you mess up, 
and this piece moves because you, you pulled it a little too hard, you can actually take the handle and put it upside down and it fits right back on top there and you can actually turn this any way you need to in order to get it to uh, line back up and what you're looking for again is for it to be wide open and then you take your new handle you just pop it on you turn it very gently until you see the white in the channel and then you pop your little top cap back on and then you're good to go anyways guys hope you enjoyed hope you learned a little something and I'll see you guys later